Health Qigong, or Eight Section Qigong Exercises. As a health and fitness practice originating in the long history of Qigong culture, Ba Duan Jin, or Eight Section Exercises, has been creatively cultivated from that tradition, and has developed into a practice combining bodily exercise with deep breathing. It helps to get rid of the stale and take in things new, and to regulate one's psychological state. Jin in Chinese refers to high-grade silk products, which symbolize the precious and beautiful things of Chinese culture. As a set of well-designed qigong exercises, which help to improve the health and prevent illness. Ba Duan Jin has been a cherished practice since ancient times. Ba Duan literally means eight sections of movements. Qigong is part of traditional Chinese culture. Health Qigong is practiced nationwide, featuring a combination of bodily movements, deep breathing, and spiritual regulation. Ba Duan Jin is one of the most popular health Qigong exercises. The originator and illustrator of the exercises are said to be Han Zhongli. And Lu Dongbin, two of the eight immortal figures in a Chinese tale. However, it is more likely that Yue Fei, a famous Chinese general of the Southern Song Dynasty, almost 900 years ago, was the creator. A 2100-year-old brocade painting named "Illustrations of Qi Conduction" was unearthed in 1972 from a tomb in Ma Wangdui, Changsha, Central China. It contains illustrations of four movements similar to those of the modern Ba Duan Jin exercises, and is believed in academic circles to be the origin of Ba Duan Jin today. The term Ba Duan Jin first appeared in the record of the listener, selections of Chinese supernatural stories, written by Hong Mai of the Northern Song Dynasty, 960 to 1127. Li Siju was appointed an officer to take care of the king's daily life. He tried to follow the Taoists' practice of imitating the movements of animals and birds, and found that this was a successful way of exercising the body. He began to get up at midnight, sitting there practicing deep breathing and self-massage, as in so-called Ba Duan Jin. This shows that the exercises were popular in China at that time. In the Song Dynasty, there were two major styles for Ba Duan Jin: practice, sitting and standing. The standing style eventually developed into numerous schools and steadily became more popular. In the late Qing Dynasty (1644 to 1912), Ba Duan Jin was recompiled into a complete routine, together with illustrations. The movements and purpose of these exercises were described in the words of a song, which reads, "Holding the hands high with palms up to regulate the internal organs, and posing as an archer, shooting both left and right-handed." Holding one arm aloft to regulate the functions of the spleen and stomach, and looking backward to prevent sickness and strain, swinging the head and lowering the body to relieve stress, and moving the hands down the back and legs, and touching feet to strengthen the kidneys, thrusting the fists and making the eyes glare to enhance strength, and raising and lowering the heels to cure diseases. A complete set of traditional health and fitness qigong exercises was thus arranged as a routine, 
with theoretical backing and proven health benefits. The Chinese Health Qigong Association has recompiled the traditional Ba Duan Jin routines, and with knowledge of modern sports and the natural sciences, made thorough studies of the effects of the exercises on physical fitness. With new methods of biotics, human morphology, and medical sciences introduced, the new Ba Duan Jin has a more rational and scientific inner power. This achievement has injected new life into the ancient Chinese tradition of Qigong. Characteristics Ba Duan Jin is a set of safe aerobic exercises. Its level of intensity and routine formats are in line with the principles of sports physiology. They feature the following characteristics. Gentle, slow, smooth, and consistent. The movements should be gentle, relaxed, and gracefully extending, with a well-balanced body stance and a distinction between substantial and insubstantial. They should be executed in a round and flowing way. Without any restraint, they are done with a natural approach and at a rational speed. There are no interruptions in the course of practice. Rhythmic combination of relaxation and strength and of dynamism and inertia. Both mental and physical relaxations are necessary. The practitioner should get rid of all psychological and physical stress and relax the joints, muscles, and inner organs steadily from the inside to the outside. A state of freedom from all restraint is sought. Strength means the rational power required between the end of the previous movement and the start of the next one. Such is the case with the hand movement in holding the hands high with palms up to regulate the internal organs. The archer's horse stance in posing as an archer shooting both left and right handed. The one arm lift in holding one arm aloft to regulate the functions of the spleen and stomach the head and hands movement in looking backward to prevent sickness and strain, the horse stance in swinging the head and lowering the body to relieve stress, the hand movement in moving the hands down the back and legs and touching the feet to strengthen the kidneys, the fists thrust in thrusting the fists and making the eyes glare to enhance strength, the head movement and retraction of the toes and buttocks in raising and lowering the heels to cure diseases. Strength is required just for an instant, and relaxation should be maintained at all other times. Dynamism and inertia are the outer appearance of bodily movements. Dynamism requires the practitioners, guided by the concentrated mind, to execute the movements in a flexible, vivid, consistent, and natural manner. Inertia means that the practitioner should be calm even when strength is required between two movements. An external pause does not interrupt the internal circulation, with the muscles still stretched. The stimulation of the intended parts of the body can be achieved only with rational strength for an extended period. The combination of relaxation and strength, and of dynamism and inertia, is the major feature of Ba Duan Jin. Combine mind and body to cultivate vital energy.
one's mind and body are closely linked and integrated into an interactive unity, which is required in Ba Duan Jin practice. With the coordination of a directive concentrated mind and a vigorous body, vital inner energy and its circulation inside one's body for health and fitness can be achieved through spiritual cultivation and physical exercises.